Hey, what's up, y'all? In Miami, I told y'all that I will be recording the process of me getting my veneers. I'm scheduled to get them done on Friday, the 30th, July 30th. So, yeah, I have to be there at 11 o'clock today. I will let you guys know the process. I'm still in bed, haven't brushed my teeth for nothing. I just woke up not long ago. So, I'll see y'all when I get dressed. Alright y'all, I'm just leaving out of Dental Design Smell. I just got my teeth cleaned. They did four cavities on my right side. My mouth is low. And yeah. Alright y'all, so now that I am in the car, I am able to do my full honest review. Y'all know I'm not biting my tongue. It's straight raw, period. So when I first walked up, sorry y'all, if I'm like talking out weird, my I'm swell right here and I feel like I ain't got no teeth, but it's like real numb, it feel weird. Anyway, when I first walked up, I was not expecting for it to be in a complex considering how bougie, you know, this place is. I wanna say bougie, but like, I get like upscale vibes. So I was not expecting for them to be in a plaza. First walked in, it's a, um, a like mirror um slidey door whatever the workers sit behind the little desk whatever it's like a mirror so i was kind of confused when i first walked in when they have like five chairs in the actual lobby for people to sit in so, um i was sitting there my point was at 11 i think i got caught back at like 11 30. um they pretty much examined my mouth um they told me that since i i have a lot of cavities i think i had like 10 so um the ones on the bottom i think that's like three four five i think i got like five or six at the bottom so they had to take them out to put new ones in so this is what it looked like and they just did this side and they made a white because when they put the composite veneers over my teeth it's gonna give like um like blackish blue look and we ain't, we ain't having that so um they did allow me to go eat because i haven't ate nothing so i think i got finished with them at like 12 something um once they examined my mouth and everything like that um so then they let me go get some food and then I came back at like I wanna say like 115 or 20 or whatever. So they numbed me. Um they gave me like some numbing gel, then they numbed me. That was not painful at all. It was like a little pain, but it wasn't like extreme. Then um then they um waited like five minutes for the kick in. They got just got to it. It took them like an hour to actually take them out drill a hole do all that stuff like it was it was really quick for real then i had to go get my teeth clean that took 45 minutes for them to find somebody to clean my teeth whatever and that took about i want to say about 20 25 minutes and i just now finished up so i'm excited and i'm happy because I just want to be left alone. Like, my mouth is slow. My fucking... I just don't want nothing touching me. I hate vibration on my teeth. It just annoys me. Like... Okay, so as far as appointments and everything, I had to write down some little notes, yeah. So, they'll call you four days before your appointment just to confirm that you're coming into town. And they will schedule transportation. They do have a um, transportation vehicle that's like luxury. Um and they'll pick you up and take you back and forth um i wasn't out for the service however um they do have that available for you guys um they'll call to verify your appointment the day of your appointment and they will also call to verify your other couple of appointments after your first one and then they'll give you a basic tablet to fill out information um pretty much <clears throat> medical history and everything like that your basics
overall the guy who took my form of payment he was so amazing like he was such a sweetheart he made me feel very comfortable relaxed myself like he was just everything like and um the person who actually did my feelings and um everything he was amazing he had such a great attitude and he was just like into my jokes like because who's not but anyways he was just amazing um he also shook my hand at the end and he was like hopefully i'll be able to be here tomorrow when you come but i don't even go tomorrow i'll go thursday but he was just like you know very like like he was just cool like overall my first day i will rate my experience 100 percent. and i'm not even mad about the vehicle issue like you know um but it, it's just good everyone is so nice they are very like respectful manners is up to par they are just really sweet here um so stay tuned i'll be back thursday when i go back for whatever else i gotta do thursday oh i gotta get the rest of these taken out put in and i'll be swole again but yeah so i'll be back thursday and then i'll be back friday i wasn't able to film much because they said that we can only film um while we're in the waiting room they don't want us to go further back confrontational reasons or whatever well, not confrontational wrong word um confidential that's the word so yeah so i'll be back thursday I'm about to use this video i mean this filter to record my video because i look so like pale today anyways i'm outside dental design smell and i'm pissed they um my whole side left side is swell now they had to take out my fillings <clears throat> and replace them like they did the last ones but I had different people this time and they were so fucking aggressive and mean. And like, she like numbed my mouth and then she stuck the needle right in my shit. Like she didn't wait five minutes like the other dude did. She just fucking shoved that shit in my fucking mouth. So then she fucking poked the needle out under my tooth. Um, the two teeth that they was doing on this side she just shoved the fucking needle in and put the um numbing stuff under it that dude didn't do that shit last time my fucking side and like under my mouth is so fucking swell then they called me this morning and asked me if i wanted to get my procedure done today because they had a cancellation so i'm like okay cool so after they finished my feelings they like oh um the person ended up coming so we'll just do yours tomorrow I'm like what that was just like real unprofessional period like y'all shouldn't even call me in the first place if y'all wasn't for sure on what y'all wanted to do or just don't call me at all until tomorrow when my appointment was already scheduled like so i had my wife like go back to the room because they told me they had transported me over to the other location to get the procedure done now i gotta wait on her to come pick me up because they're not doing them today and on top of that my whole fucking side of my mouth as well like this lady was so fucking aggressive like with a nasty attitude she gonna i had my mouth open she like oh open your mouth wider bitch how wide do you want me to open it because it, it ain't gonna go no further so today i rate their fucking customer service a zero my experience a zero and um like when i first checked in it they was nice the lady remember me she said my name and stuff like that made me feel you know special but as far as the aggressiveness, mm -mm, no, it's a no for me. Like the dude was so gentle and sweet. Like I had a dude and a lady last time. And then this time I had two ladies and like, it was just bad. Mm -mm, nope. So that's how I'm feeling. I'm a little pissed off, pissed the fuck off. And I'm waiting on my wife to pull up to come pick me up while I'm still sitting outside they fucking place so i'll be back tomorrow let y'all know how i'm feeling what i rate they service period then it'd be like you know you gotta be cautious and like more careful about who you fuck over and like who you doing dirt to because like 
One person can have ties to a million people, baby, and you don't want that. I literally been outside for about 30 minutes waiting for my appointment. They said my appointment was at 8 o'clock. They'll send me, like, hella emails a day letting me know, like, oh, your appointment is at this time. Like, you know, make sure you're on time and all this other shit. I just call, and they pretty much saying, oh, um, they doing cleaning. I've been here since 7.45 or 7, um, close to 7.45, and I ain't seen nobody walk in or walk out of this place. So, y'all lying. For what? At this point, like, I'm just real life over it. And I know they better be letting me in this motherfucker real soon. They said they was doing cleaners. Ain't nobody even in here. <laughs> like, what y'all on for real? It's the last for me. Yeah. All right, y'all. I am back. Look at my teeth. So, I guess out of way it was worth it. Because, like, my teeth are good as fuck. And, um... Today, I think I'll rate their customer service, the, all of that, like, probably like an 80. Wasn't so bad today, besides standing outside, I'll fuck. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> I'm back. I'm having a bad hair day, so excuse me. I'm drinking my smoothie, because I can't drink nothing else for the next day or two. Um, Honestly, like... I did want to just come and talk to you guys about the facility um, and just pretty much like let you guys know like I highly recommend them you know um, everywhere you go is going to have like some t lack of communication you're not going to get the best customer service everywhere that you do go um, one thing that I did notice was that um, a celebrity walked into the building um, and they didn't like treat her like you know better than anybody they didn't put her first they actually like you know like treated her like a regular like customer like she had to wait just as much as everybody else did my gums and lips are still swole so i could be talking a little funny but you're going to talk funny anyways when you get your veneers done um but yeah <clears throat> i'm honestly like really happy like i never had a straight smell i never had straight teeth so um i'll be posting that picture as well um, the person who did my teeth, he was amazing. He was so sweet. Um, and, like, he was just, like, on it. Like, they were so obsessed. Like, literally, the whole staff came to, like, see my teeth. They took, like, a lot of pictures and did videos. So, they will be on their page. Um, but right now, like, I'm literally just drinking a fucking smoothie. And I'm ready to, like, get home at this point. Like, I'm ready to go home. I miss my kids. I miss my dogs. Like, I miss my house my car like i just want to get back to my regular life also before i get off of here i did want to say that make sure you guys tune into their facebook page when i was um at the facility there was another young lady who was getting veneers done as well she got composites and she did let me know that they had a promotion where you get six hundred dollars off so she paid um four thousand even so i wasn't offered that same deal or that same discount was given $50 off and I was like happy about that but I'm not telling y'all why I got $50 off but yeah I did so um if you guys have any questions oh anesthesia and that fucking number stuff the fucking worst like my fucking mouth still hurt from yesterday when that girl did my shit with her rude ass and like my mouth like still kind of hurt like a little bit but it's just more of my gums from them like doing all that little drilling and all or whatever but um yeah like that fucking shit is like the worst in the fucking world the worst pain ever like that's probably like one of the most uncomfortable things that you will experience besides like when they like um drilling or filing your teeth or whatever and that wind come and make your fucking mouth all sensitive oh my god i was so fucking mad i wouldn't want to scream like it was just the worst pain in the world but anyways let me enjoy my motherfucking teeth because a bitch is in the streets 
last day in Miami and it's up tonight. You see it? This is my second drink. Shout out to my wife because she's been taking good care of moi. So yeah. How I'm feeling? Pretty damn good. Hey y'all, what's up? I am officially like a couple days in from getting my veneers. Um, my teeth is very sensitive at the bottom. I think they're like shifting. I actually had a meal yesterday. I had Olive Garden. I was so fucking happy because I've been starving nonstop drinking water. Annoyed. But it's going to be cool. It's all worth it in the end, baby. But yeah, I'm loving my teeth so far. It's definitely adjustment. Um, it's uncomfortable sometimes. But um, I have like this little magic mouthwash stuff. It numbs like my gums and stuff. I have to take every six hours. And then I brush my teeth two to three times a day. And I have to floss before I go to bed. So, and yeah, just checking in with you guys. Um, and if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to fucking ask. Because, yes, like this whole experience has been crazy. Alright, sorry y'all, my wife was asking me a question. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, it definitely changed like the way that I talk and stuff. Because I don't have gaps anymore. But yeah, I, I'm like obsessed. Like, it looks so good. And I was actually looking at my pictures, like my before picture. Like, these look exactly like my fucking teeth. Just I'll push together. That's a good thing. Because you don't want nothing that's too fucking big or, you know, and don't fit your mouth. Like, they look like my actual teeth just pushed together white and just pretty as fuck so yeah dental design smell y'all did y'all think even though y'all are fucking um like communication is terrible but like y'all did a good ass job period <laughs> 